So we're doing a Gillies temporal approach for a zygomatic arch fracture. You could have the hair shaved if you want. So I've made the incision. The first step is to look for the glistening membrane. You see that? That's the glistening membrane. That's a fascia, the temporoparietal fascia. One more mosquito, please. Okay, now give me the Howard. So once I've gotten to the fascia, I'm just going to, yeah, you can see the glistening. Let's show you. Yeah, you might want to extend the incision or, no, no, just the knife again. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show it a little bit clearer there. Okay. Now, um, knife. Now, this is just a small scoring. One incision over the okay now once we do that so you get to the plane beneath the fascia expose the fascia make the plane and then we introduce no 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 suction please. See that again? Yes, yeah, suction now. Okay. Now you see. So this is in all along to the arch and then you just ah, then you just iron the arch out. These kind of displaced arch fractures have caused difficulty in mouth opening for a lot of patients that's because it impinges on the coronoid process of the mandible. It's a simple reduction process. And we're done with this. Now we need some pottery. Very bipolar. No, the pottery doesn't work. <laughs> 